everybody, it's Jenna and this is my first official video. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm so excited to share with you what I have in store. First thing I really want to say quickly is I just got my wisdom teeth done, um, extracted last week. So my cheeks are really swollen. I'm not talking the way I usually talk and I just, I kind of look like a chipmunk. And I sound a little weird, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I had to get there, um, had to get that out there quickly. I uh, just, I felt like I made an announcement about my new blog and channel a while ago and I haven't posted anything. It's gonna, you know, almost be a month, so I wanted to get something out. So, yep, talk about embracing your flaws, you know, chubby cheeks and all. I'm here. <laughs> my first tutorial, if you've been following me at all, I showed a little sneak peek of it and here it is. Check it out really quickly. Okay, so the sneak peek was a picture of China Glaze's Crackle Collection set, and um, I really love it. I don't uh, if you've tried it at all, you know what I'm talking about. It's great, and what I want to do and kind of share is for my first set of videos, I thought, why don't I pair the China Glaze Crackle Collection to um, meaningful tutorials? And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna for my first six videos, I'm gonna take one of the China Glaze Crackle sets, or Crackle sorry, not sets, nail polishes. So for the first one. I'm using is the black mesh you know I'm gonna make a swatch out of it and you know do my nails but it's not gonna be a nail tutorial I'm actually gonna do either an eye or a hair or an outfit of the day I don't know something I'm gonna do something that matches the swatch so it's kind of cool you guys kind of get to know me and see how my channel is gonna run I'm still kind of starting so it's kind of good to get a lot of ideas out there and see what people like and see how they respond to things. Anyway, for my very, very first video, I've chosen, like I said, China Glaze's Black Mesh and I paired it with their Four Audrey. And what I wanted to do in tribute to China Glaze because I love them is, um, you know, the infamous China Glaze picture, um, the advertisement? Yeah, okay, that one. I wanted to recreate the eyes, so I did an eye tutorial for that makeup and I did the swatch so you can kind of see it here it's a little blurry but um, I think on the advertisement it was switched and they used you know this color they used the, that one for the crackle and the black nail polish but mine's a little different and I did the black on top of the four Audrey so if you want to stick around and see how I did it get some ideas then continue watching thank you so much I'm so excited again to start my channel and really put out some meaningful content meaningful for me meaningful for viewers anybody watching I hope you guys enjoy it please continue to support me and can't wait to hear from you bye so we want to begin by first priming our eyelids and I'm gonna use Mally's base she usually has them in her palettes and she also sells them separately so you just put it all over your eyelid make sure to prime that well using a small flat brush I'm gonna use max jewel blue to put all over my eyelid I kind of have a huge gap between my eyes to my eyebrows so I kind of extend it a little higher but just make sure that it goes on smooth and consistent throughout and really pack that on nicely so the color shines through then I'm going to use Mally's Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in Caribbean Sea. You could probably use any nice green, teal, um, turquoise, blue liner. But anyway, you want to put it on right in the eyelid, just about halfway through your eye. Really put that on nicely so that the color will come through. It's really, really bright. With the same flat brush from previously, I'm going to use this bright, bright teal from a Sephora palette and pack it over the eyeliner portion that you just put on. This is going to help set it and also bring the color out. With a nice blending brush, I'm going to use the brown liner in Mally's Smoky Eye Kit. And this is in the color um, Skyscraper. Yes, Skyscraper City Chick. And it's just this really nice light shimmery kind of metallic silver. You could probably use anyone, anything that's similar to that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and just put that over the teal that we put on. And you're going to start from the outside, brush it all the way in, almost to your tear duct and just kind of blend it through, keep it nice and smooth, try as much as possible not to go back and forth like windshield wipers, try to stroke it in one direction and lift your brush up. You may have to go back around your tear ducts, but for the most part, at the, um, at the very edge, keep going one way. Our next step is to get a big flat brush and take a nice white matte color. You want to stay away from any kind of shimmers um, just because we already have so many on the eyelid, but use that to highlight your brow underneath and really pop out your eyes. 
With the crease brush, I'm going to take the lid color in that same Mally Smoky Eye Kit in Skyscraper and dab a little bit on and start from the very corners and go in our crease right there. I'm going to go really softly, again try to stroke it in one direction rather than going back and forth like a windshield wiper and bring it in all the way through, I mean to the very end of your eyelid. Once you have that nice and clean, you can begin to start filling in that other portion of the eye that we didn't cover with the Caribbean Sea. Also work on that V and shape it really nicely, girls, <laughs> and make that smooth. The same crease brush, I'm going to take a darker black, this is from my Sephora palette, and I'm going to go in into our crease just at the very edge and again do the same little motion and, and start to really fill out that other half of the eye. See how it's a little darker now. We want this really dominant looking, so I'm going to take an even darker black with a little glitter and continue to do the eye portion and shape the V part. It's important we take a blending brush and go back to that light silver color we used in the beginning to get rid of any harsh lines and creases. Really blend that out. Now let's go back to that Caribbean Sea pencil and go over the same portion of your eyelid that we did in the beginning. This is to really help that color become just so vibrant and pop. We need it because the black is a really, really dark smoky eye. So put that over nicely. Then go back to the nice shimmery aqua color with that smaller flat brush we used and just pat it over. This is really going to bring it out. Then take a black liner, I'm using Mally's Midnight Color, and draw right underneath your eyelid, halfway through your eye, just, not through your eye, under your eye, sorry. Draw a thick, thick black line, and we're going to connect this. We want this to be really, really bold, so it's okay if it's really thick. With a thin liner brush, take some dark black eyeshadow, this is from my Sephora palette, and of course we're going to set it, and we're going to kind of smudge it through, so... You know, you can also use the smudger brush, but I'm just going to use this liner brush and go over it and make it a little thick. You may have to draw it out to kind of connect and fix that V. It's okay to bring it a little out, um, a little more further out than you typically would when you do smoky eyes. But we want it dramatic, we want it bold, we want it dark, like I said. It's exactly what the advertisement looks like. So go ahead and fix that up and feel free to smudge with your fingers and color through. There's nothing wrong with layering, so go ahead and take that crease brush and fix in that V. With my Caribbean Sea pencil, I'm going to go and finish the other half underneath my eye, connect it to your tear duct, blend it in with the black that you just drew, and make it nice and bold again. With another liner brush, take that same glittery turquoise color we've been using and pack it over the Caribbean Sea eyeliner. You can make it fat, you can make it smudgy, as long as it blends in with the black and you bring it all the way to your tear duct and blend those two parts together too. Don't forget to do your waterline. I'm going to use Mally's Midnight Thick Liner that I've been using to draw um, underneath the eyelid, but you can use a liquid liner, whichever you prefer. I only chose to use this because it's a little more smoky and it's a little more, you know, hot mess. <laughs> now it's time to line the top of our eyes. Liquid eyeliner I think would look so great here, but because I don't have any on me, I'm just going to use Mally's. So anything you prefer, go ahead and make it nice and clean. Wing it out if you like. If you need to, fix your bottom with the Caribbean Sea or the black liner and make sure that there's no white gaps. And now it's time for my favorite part and that is to curl your lashes. I love curling lashes. So curl them and take your favorite mascara, put it on really nice and thick. And you can also use false eyelashes. I think they're going to look great with this tutorial. But I chose not to do it here only because I don't wear them often. But go ahead and try it. So thank you for watching and I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you.